Hey guys, and welcome back to Mishwell Crochet. If you saw this book, I got something special to go with it. Stay tuned. Well guys, I want to talk about an order I just got in the mail from Hirschner's. Have you ever ordered from Hirschner's? Let me know in the comments if you have. And was it a good experience or a bad experience? Because I'm going to tell you about mine. First off, let me just, you know, spoiler alert, it was a very good experience. We went ahead, my husband ordered it for me, and it was actually arrived a day early. And the, the people were quite friendly on the first call. The second call, the woman was a little grouchy with me, but I was, you know, I understand because I called because I couldn't find a tracking number. I never got an email from them or anything confirming the order. So, like, I was kind of worried that, like, for some reason the order didn't go through because I didn't get a confirmation in my email. So when I called back to like confirm that, okay, yeah, it did go through and try and like get a count, like get a tracking number. She wanted the confirmation number, which my husband didn't write down when he made their initial call. So the woman was kind of annoyed because, you know, she had to go through the extra effort. Other than that though, it was a pretty good experience. I mean, especially like I said, cause it came a day earlier than she told me it was going to. So, without further ado, let's get ready to open this up. For one, I was a little surprised that it was in this kind of packaging. For some reason, I kept picturing, like, a box or, I don't know, something different. So, I'm a little surprised by that, but, I mean, what's in here are not really necessarily things that are easy to break. So, all right. First off, we've got... Okay, we have a couple advertisements, and then I got my order form that says, you know, all the things that were ordered, and oh, and then a special yarn sale flyer from Hershner's, and then doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, one more advertisement. <laughs> all right. Now, the part we've been waiting for, the thing I we actually ordered, were a set of three crochet hooks by Lyndon K. These are the hooks that go along with the book, which I would say it's not 100% necessary. But for me, I thought, for one, I love the colors. I thought they were really cool. And I wanted the actual hooks. Like, I have crochet hooks that I could probably use, but... I just wanted to be a little fancy and get the actual ones. And I couldn't believe that at Hirschner's, they were a lot cheaper than anywhere else. Amazon was sold out. You couldn't get all three. I could not find them in store. And Hirschner's, let me grab my little thing here. Okay, so the hook set was $7. You got all three hooks. Shipping and handling. Then I had a discount code. And all in all, it was $11.58 for these three hooks. That's not bad at all, I feel like. They're plastic hooks. And they're they're good size. Okay, so let's take a look at these one by one here. Let me grab them. Um, let me put them in order. So as you can see, I haven't. This is just the first time I've opened them. All right, this hook here is a... It's the small hook. It's a nine millimeter. I'm just gonna run it across here so you can kind of see it. It's got this kind of like a twisted design. I've never never had a hook like that before. So I'll have to see how that feels in my hand. And here is London Kay on the back with the bag that she's made. And these were a collaboration it looks like with Line Brand Yarns. All right, so the next size is this bright pink, which is 11.5 millimeters. I love these colors. They're so cute. This one's the medium. Here's one of London Kay's eyeballs that she's known for. And the last one, this is the large. It's a 20 millimeter. And they all have this cool, like, twisted. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's like this twisted design. This blue one is really pretty, too. And on the back, we have London K with one of her creations. These are very cool. I'm definitely excited about trying these out. All right, so let's just get the, we'll just grab, let's grab the small one out. 
and I want to see how it actually feels in my hand because they're just kind of different. Okay, so they're not, they're pretty firm. There's very little flexibility. Now, it's interesting how they actually fit into my hand because, you know, I, I'm a knife holder. So if you were a pencil grip, I don't know if you would like it so much. I mean, I don't know that much be about pencil grip because that's not the grip I use, but it kind of, when you hold it with a pencil grip, it kind of turns the head a weird way. But for the knife grip, the hook, let me try, you can see it there. The hook is nice and in line with your hand. Like, I think that feels nice in my hand. And I've got kind of big hands. Something I look for with crochet hooks too, where does this part hit? Because if the hook's too short, and as I crochet, this will rub into my hand and it will tear up my hand. But this has got a good, it's a, it seems to be a good length. Like, that is not moving around in my hand and tearing me up. So the head feels, now I will say the head feels a little rough. I might have to sand that just a little bit. I don't know Well, you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a little bit like of a spur right there. Uh, maybe you can't see it, but I can definitely feel it. So when I go ahead and I bust out some yarn and give this a try, we'll have to see if that catches. But I think, oh, Here's a cute little detail I didn't notice before. It has a little star on the bottom. Are they all? Oh, they all have different ones. Oh, oh. Okay, see, on this package, it shows a star. There's a star on the bottom. This one shows a peace sign. Peace sign on the bottom. And this one's a smiley face with smiley face on the bottom. That, I think that's a cute little detail. And they say London K with a little, you know, trademark mark on it. But yeah, they're not, there's another spot right there that's rough. You know, but I mean, that's all like, you know, fixable. A little bit of um, sandpaper, I can, because that I think after a while would wear in my hand. But that's just on this hook. I don't know if the other ones are like that. I'll have to open them up here and check it out. All right, so here's the medium, and this one's a lot smoother. Like, the small one had that, you know, that rough spot right here, and yes, there's a little bit of an imperfection. I don't know how well you can see that. There's a little bit of an imperfection, but nothing too major. Like, it it's, doesn't make it ugly or, you know, unusable or too rough. That one... That one's better. I was a little surprised by the two spots on the small one that it had that much of a rough spot in it. All right, I'm gonna put this one away. I'm gonna grab the large and then I'll show you that one. All right, so this one is the large and it doesn't sit as well in the hand, in my hand at least, as the other ones. Like it just, the grip doesn't hit the same. And I think it's because basically they're trying to use like a similar like length of yarn but this one's more twisted because it's bigger but I don't I mean I can get used to it but it does it doesn't quite sit as well as the other two now it is rough through here and probably will need a little sanding not as bad still as the small one the small one I mean there's quite this little spur and there's a spot here there's a spot here and there's like a, a big spot right there I mean, it doesn't make them unusable, but it's just something, you know, run a little, a little sandpaper so you don't have drag and you don't have this much catch. But all in all, I think the colors are pretty. I think this design's pretty cool. I don't think it works as functionally, just the way it feels in my hand. It doesn't work as functionally with the larger size, but the other two are great. So until I actually get some yarn out and do some crocheting with it, I can't make a full determination. But just this unboxing video, I can say that we're off to a really good start. So, so far, I would say these are worth a try, but I cannot give them my full seal of approval 
until I actually, you know, get some yarn and work with them. But I think we're off to a good start. For today, I think we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna have this be an unboxing and some time in the, in the near future. I will be working up some projects with these and I can give you a better review then when we actually can put some yarn to hook. Until next time though, take care. Mm -hmm.